Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to test the difference in velocity between a 24 inch barrel and a Bear Creek Arsenal 6.5 Grandel Upper and a 24 inch barrel, uh, also a Bear Creek Arsenal 6.5 Grandel Upper. I have two different loads uh, to, to choose from, uh, the Gold Dot with Power Pro uh, Varmint Powder and the Sierra Pro Hunter 120 grain uh, with benchmark powder. Uh, both of these were pretty accurate in my work uploads, but today is the real metal so that you can see uh, what difference a four inch barrel, a four inches of a barrel makes in terms of velocity. When you go with the smaller calibers, speed kills. The more speed that you can get, maintaining accuracy of course, but the more speed that you can get means downrange energy on an animal that is much needed. Uh, Forget about flatter trajectories, all that kind of stuff. What I'm looking for with a 120 grain, grain bullet is for it to hit somewhere between 1,800 and 1,300 feet per second uh, minimum, uh, minimum foot pounds of energy uh, to harvest an animal. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the chronographs. Uh, I'll show you some shooting and then I'll show you the targets at the end. Thanks for watching. Just a, a reminder of what these rifles are. They're both Bear Creek Arsenal 6.5 Grendel uppers, uh, different lowers, different optics. Uh, but we're going to be shooting the same bullets for the test today. But the one closest to you is the one with the 20 inch barrel. It's just got a thread protector on it. Uh, the one in the back is a 24 inch barrel. It's brand new, uh, have less than 12 rounds shot through it. Uh, it does have a flash of pressure on it. Uh, and but that didn't seem to hurt its accuracy. So uh, without further ado, let's get to shooting and get to the results. Okay folks, uh, first up is the uh, 20 inch 6.5 Grendel. Uh, I'm going to do three cord cold bore shots. Those cold bore shots are going to be just like you figured uh, you would shoot if you were going hunting. Uh, then I'll follow it up with three uh, shots after that to see if there's a difference in, in uh, point of impact uh, because that's, a, that's essential to know when you're going hunting. Uh, so without further ado, I've got the Magneto Speed chronograph hooked up to my rifle uh, and I'll record the speeds on the 20 inch and then on both uh, bullets and then get back to you. So uh, do you want to see the first shots? Okay, fine. I'll go ahead and shoot the first three shots. So here we go. Again, this is approximately 125 yards. Okay, that was very low, 2417. Twenty-four oh six. So uh, that was lower than expected, or at least lower than I, what I had chronographed before. Uh, the three shots looked to be about an uh, inch and a half uh, to two inch group. Uh, not great, but we'll deal with what we have. Okay, now the Sierras. This is with Power Pro Varmint, so they should shoot a little bit faster.
2526. Twenty five, twenty eight, twenty five, twenty two. So uh, you can see sometimes just the difference, and even though they're the same bullet weight, one hundred and twenty grain difference, but a difference in powder, a different bullet type of construction can make a huge difference in speed. In this particular case, over 100 feet per second on the 20-inch barrel. Okay, so hang on. Now I'm going to switch over to the 26-inch barrel. Okay, now the 24-inch uh, hooked up to the same chronograph. Uh, first three bullets are going to be the uh, spear gold dot, again with the benchmark powder. On the 20-inch, they they were right around uh, 24, 20 feet per second average. Uh, pretty good standard deviation. So now the 24 inch should shoot a lot faster, but we'll we'll kind of take a look. So here we go. Fire in the hole. Twenty-five, twenty-eight. Okay, now we're going to use the Sierra Pro Hunter, 120 grain. This is with uh, Power Pro Varmint powder. Uh, these averaged about 25, 26. Uh, so they should be, they should be a little too hot for this gun. Maybe they should be around 2,600 feet per second, but we'll see. Fire in the hole. Twenty six forty five. Woo. Twenty six twenty one. Twenty six fifty six. Uh, let me go take a look at this brass. I'll be right back. We'll inspect it to see if there's pressure signs. Okay, here's the targets. The very first one is the uh, twenty inch. Uh, these were the first three shots with the uh, gold dots, uh, 120 grain with benchmark. Uh, here was the three shots with the Sierra uh, Pro Hunter with Power Pro Varmint. Um, moving over to the 24 inch, uh, I can't tell which is which. You can see that's a about a half inch to three quarter inch group with that being my last shot. Uh, but again, the big difference between the two is between 100 and 150 feet per second in terms of velocity. Uh, here's the case uh, for the 24 inch. Uh, primer looks good. There's no uh, ejection smears. But the ultimate test is going to be back at the reloading bench to find out if the case uh, stretched overly uh, too much and to find out if the primer pocket is loose. Uh, but I'm not comfortable with uh, 20, over 2,600 feet per second when no book can even record that. So, uh, 
for, that's why we reload. Further tests are going to be need, need to be done. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, maybe subscribe. Uh, go ahead and comment. I'd like to know what your uh, particular situation is with the 6.5 Grendel. Uh, thanks for watching, folks.